Hi, this is Carolina Vivas from YourBooty.com and I'm going to show you how to go from a standing position, dropping back into full backbend Urdhva Dhanurasana. Just make sure that you warm up with a few sun salutes and some hip and shoulder openers. You're going to start off standing with your feet hip width apart, make sure your feet are straight. You're going to take your hands to your lower back and with the heels of your hands, press your hips forward. As you press your hips forward, you're going to roll your shoulders back, shoulder blades together, elbows pin back, lift your chest, lift your heart, and slowly drop your head back. So you're going to take about five deep breaths there, and then start to make your way down, sliding your hands down the back of the legs towards your knees. You're going to reach your hands towards the back of your knees. Take another five deep breaths there. And then make your way back up. Pause for a moment. You can bend your knees, bring your hands to your knees, crouch forward a little bit, and just release your low back. So you can round and tuck a couple of times to release it, and then you're going to try again. This next time, you're going to drop back as much as you can with your hands to the back of the knees. And when you can't back bend anymore, you're going to bend your knees and try to drop back in even further. So once you bend your knees, it's going to help you drop even further back. And then it's all about trust. So once you get as deep as you can go, you let your arms reach up and drop back. So if you can get a deep enough back bend, the space between your hands and the floor isn't that big, even though it seems like it is, and then you're just gonna land on your palms. So take deep breaths, hands to your lower back, hips forward, elbows back, shoulder blades together, heart up. Keep breathing, drop the head back. Slide the hands down the back of the legs. So for me, this is it. This is as far as I can go and then I start bending my knees. Bend, 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 drop, drop, drop. I can see the floor, and then I'm gonna release through my hands, reaching up and dropping back. Now to come back, so you wanna hold your Urdhva Dhanurasana for a few breaths. You wanna shorten your stance a little bit, so walk your feet further back. You can rock a few times, kinda of shifting the weight from the feet to the hands. And then same thing, it's all about trust. You're gonna engage your legs, lean forward, lift and then rest again with your hands to your knees you can drop one shoulder forward and then the other or you can do that rounding and tucking one more time hands to your lower back drop back as much as you can hands to the back of the knees knees bend so you drop back even further and then release Walk back so you can shorten it if you feel like you can't take it all the way. And then lift. Take a little rest and then just keep trying. The other thing you can do is use a wall. So instead of dropping back onto the floor, you use your hands up against a wall and then walk yourself down. So for more videos like this, go to yourbooty.com.